Okay, the Basca mine. Tons of ore used to be mined here, but it's all run out now. Been abandoned about 10 years now. And so, um, why did we come here? <laughs> Didn't explain along the way. Yeah, Pop, we better not be resting here. It's way too creepy that it's all crawling with ghosts. Relax, relax, it ain't haunted. In fact, the deepest part of the mine leads somewhere real good. Just gotta have some faith in your good old fearless Pop. Do you really think this is safe? Log joined the party and Lono. So is he gonna fight now too? Got a party of four? Sweet, he's level five. Oh, fucking course he is. Um, do I got anything to equip with him? Got a cape. Bandana. Clothes. Silk cape. Hmm. So I'll just give him the cape. Uh, not the silk one, because the silk cape is actually not an accessory, it's a... Uh, it replaces the thing. The actual armor. Which is why it's so shitty. Mm. Alright. Might as well save. Save frequent and often. Which are the same thing. But do it anyway. Okay. Mm Can I get this dog in my party? I'm sure there's a... There's a dog that's a member of the 108 stars. I'm sure of it. In Sukoden 3, there were like six of them. And they all had the exact They were just palette swaps of one another. What is this? A... That's... That's a beaver with sunglasses. Oh yeah, I remember... <laughs> they were talking about beavers and... One of the areas where we were or something, I think? Weren't there? Can't you stupid humans tell them when you're not wanted? Say no. <laughs> yeah, they were, um... Over in Rathley, they were... Saw a beaver. <laughs> what the fuck? They're all medium, so it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. All sorts of monsters in here. Is he using an anchor? He's got a harpoon, he's got an anchor. That's pretty awesome. There's way too much fucking missing going on in this game. It's a little silly. There we go. Give me some levels. Nice. It's over here. That looks pretty creepy. Purple creeper. That would make sense. And just auto. On. <laughs> that deck is so weird. He's all stinky. Hmm. Does he have a rune? He does have a water rune. Cool. Is very cool. Oops. Although his water is not gonna be super useful since he started level five. And now I have a place for him to rest up once he's up to adequate level. Martial arts garb. Just a log that would increase. Mm, I'll give this to Lun. And then I'm gonna give him these. Bats? Man-eating bat? 
A man-eating bat sounds scary as shit. That sound effect. really know where I'm going, but it's okay. Well, there's a save point. I should probably use this. Since it's here, it probably means I'm about to fight a boss. Here we see a... Here we see a save point in the middle of the dungeon. Pretty good indicator. Some more of these assholes. That sound. We did it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did, Leon. Good for us. I think I probably missed something near the entrance to this dungeon. But oh well, I'm not fucking going back. Mother Earth piece. Ooh. As I recall, Mother Earth is a very good room. It's like a second tier room. Or second tier up from the base tier. Like just a normal earth room. Gives you access to all the good shit. What did he say? He just kind of yelled vaguely. Unique monster. They're not unique, but at least special. Huge legs. Oh, they have a dad and daughter. One time damage to rogue enemies is not going to be useful since there's only one enemy. Just attack. And I'll use a fire rune for this. Why not? Got five of them. Ow. And poison. There's only second poisons. Nice. There we go. Venom orb? I'm not really paying attention to what items I'm getting from this stuff. Long boots? Uh, Mother Earth piece. Need some. I know I have an antitoxin. Two sets. Oh, these are nice. I'll give these two. Since my physical defense is already so much higher than her. She seems like an important character, I'm gonna give these to her. Seems like she's gonna be with me pretty much through the whole game. So I might as well. Bats... Bats aren't too scary. They're scary names, but... Pretty weak. Come on. You smashed a bat with an anchor. What is that? Burning fire mean? I wish they would tell me. He's got a lot of HP. I'm going to heal up a little bit. I'm going to swap. Hmm. Hmm. I'll put him in front. He has the most HP. Maybe? I don't know. It probably doesn't really matter.
I love this little yell. It's like half of the yell, it's not a full yell. Don't status me, I'm alright. Nice. Leon is doing some good and solid damage. We did it! Got a question mark pot. What did that say something about camp? Oh. Oh shit. Are those dwarves? Uh, live down here? They're all kids. <laughs> what are they? Humans ain't the only ones living in Valena, you know. Cave dwarves. I was not expecting dwarves. I thought beavers. Not dwarves. Strange bunch they are. Their hobbies digging holes. About all they do. Kind of on the stubborn side. Mm-hmm. There ought to be around here somewhere. Hold and look the same around. <laughs> Let me get a bit closer. Got all kinds of different places through these tunnels. Except the ones where we hit water and can't get through those at all. Dwarf lady. Can I get a dwarf party member? Who kicks ass, maybe? Iron Helm can't equip that circlet. Can afford this stuff. Scale mail. Can't equip leg armor or leg guards in plate armor. I equip scale mail. Lowers my speed, but actually doesn't increase physical defense that much. Hmm. This increases HP. Ooh. I think I want this one. Also cheaper. And it increases speed. Yeah, this is definitely the better, better option. For clothes. Uh. Hmm. Increases by six. I don't really want to waste that much money. I should. Hmm. She could use some defense. Fuck it. And I'll give this to... Refines. Spike armor. Nice, but I can't really. Hmm. A rap turban has water defense. Uh, let's give this, let's give this to. Line. 
You're not friends with the prince. But, but. And your daughter wouldn't be as cute as this. What? What are you trying to do? Embarrass me? Not a piece of me, Mr. Dwarf? Wow. That's supposed to mean, jeez. This is a real prince. Hmm. You're gonna turn that down, are you? <laughs> I'm in. With that little thing. Two of us used to be in the business of running fugitives. Fugitives. Hmm. Fugitive runners help people get away that owed a bunch of money to nasty old loan sharks. When we wasn't doing that, we were helping gladiators escape. Business was booming, I tell ya. Never told me about this before. Once we almost helped a prisoner get out of a gate prisoner. Prison, rather. We did? Yep, we dug a secret tunnel there. And that tunnel should be right up ahead. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Sweet. 